because it's actually really important in terms of uh, brand management for someone like the Black Dog Institute to be really aware of what is going on social media and how that's affecting our image in the community and the public. Because one of the beautiful things about working at Black Dog Institute is that people automatically identify that as a really trust trustworthy and reputable organisation. And because that is now online through social media, we really as researchers are not only protecting the integrity of our research, but also the integrity and the reputation of UNSW and the Black Dog Institute. F formally, from the institute level, we have these five um, social media outlets. And you can see we have 95,000 people following us on our Facebook page. So if one thing happens to kind of go wrong on our Facebook page, it's, it has a big impact. Even alone with our Twitter, we've got 23,000. And the Goodnight Insomnia study, this is a particular case study because this is the first time we started having an individual, individual Facebook page for a study. And it was kind of a bit of an experiment. And we only had 2,000 people enrolled in the study. But for some reason or another, it got 22,000 people liking it. And one of the interesting things is about when you're thinking about using social media for your research project, having a fade, you really have to have an entry and an exit strategy. Because otherwise, that, you know, that study's finished now, and what are you going to do with those 22,000 people who are following you? 